All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is. It's Tragic Life here, and we're going to go ahead and jump a little bit deeper into Final Fantasy III. We were captured by somebody. So, um, this is my third time filming this. The first time, I got lost in the uh, maze that's coming up, and I got murdered. And then, I realized that I had not saved in the right spot so I had to go backwards and come back through this um, so my characters are a little bit stronger um, especially since none of my characters died in the last boss fight um, so the second time filming this I did myself a favor I saved here um, the music was so loud you couldn't hear me talk especially since my uh, I've been a little under the weather um, the last couple weeks so last two weeks so you really couldn't hear me is that a I got through it, it was terrible you just couldn't hear me so it is what it is we're now going to go ahead and move forward um, I've already done all of this I, I apologize but uh, what can we do so first things first we need to go ahead and cast Toad that is incorrect I apologize hold on Not get Why would I do that? Alright, so we actually want to cast something she does not have. Alright, so we're gonna remove arrow and we're gonna learn mini. And then I'm gonna hit the wrong button twice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cast mini. And we're going to go through this little hole. Yay! Alright, this is not the hardest um, cave, especially when you learn some stuff. So I can use magic to go ahead and get rid of my uh, mini, but instead I went and bought me a couple of... Uh, mallets. Alright. So, we're not done. We're going to go to our jobs. We're going to turn you into a Geomancer. And you into a Scholar. Then we're going to come in here to the equipment and we're going to make sure you're equipped. Alright. We'll give you Book of Light and Book of Firework. Scholar hat, scholar robe, and mythical razors. Where's my puppy? Okay, he's getting good. Gotta keep an eye on him. Okay, so the Geomancer is deadly once you learn how to use it. First time I came through here, I did not use it. So I was kind of wasting his talents. So I'll show you how to use him. He's really cool. The scholar is good for the boss. Somewhat. So first, let me introduce you to, ugh. so we got a Pharaoh and a Lemur. So your Knight's going to do a normal attack, your Thief is going to do a normal attack. For your Geomancer, hit terrain. And then with Pharaoh, or with the uh, Scholar, just hit attack. These guys aren't that strong, but they do so do some damage. There goes the lemur. Or the pharaoh, sorry. Uh oh. Kill it before he gets to attack, please. You can use magic, but I would say match. Damn it. He's gonna die. So Riff is not going to get any help. Do I want to raise their levels? Let me double check. No, I already did it. Okay. Well, that was terrible. Okay. 
So we're gonna go down here. Holy arrows. Alright, that was another Pharaoh and a lemur. This time, uh, uh, the Geomancer cast the Wind Slash again to wipe out the, um, I can't think right now, the, uh, Pharaoh, and then he used an Ice Thing to take out the other one, so. You're gonna do get you're gonna get hit a lot here. So we're gonna go this way here. Should be two chests here. Phoenix down, which is great because I just used one. And a Phoenix down, so two Phoenix down, yay. Ah. Alright, there's another uh lemur and a pharaoh. What are you looking at, buddy? Paint and a card. to think. Give me a second. Okay, no, I'm correct. Okay, so yeah, I haven't shown you the Ge I was a little worried that I've been talking about the Geomancer, and you've seen the Geomancer. I'm ahead of myself. Um, so these bad guys uh, really like attacking three of you. Good news is this is not a long dungeon. Like, we go this way first. Phoenix down, that's always a win. Alright, more pharaohs and more lemurs. Um, Geomancer did a Shadow Flare, which is the most powerful thing she does. It does like almost 2,000 damage. Um, I'm, I'm hoping one day she'll do it against the boss and really set me up. But, moving forward. Wow. Alright, you probably guessed that was another pharaoh and another lemur. Yeah, we're gonna fight a lot of them. That's a big part of the fights in here. I need to go ahead and get some alive. He got hit hard. My puppy, Mr. Charlie, is sitting here on my arm rest looking at me like, hey dad. Now he's smelling shoes. It's a puppy's life. Check these doors, there's uh, two treasures in each of these doors. So we got 3,000 gill and a bomb fragment. I think they all have 3,000 gill and a, and a usable weapon or usable magic attack. One time, whatever you want to call them. And Dark Wind, 3,000 gill. We will be using them against this boss. Um, we want him dead and gone quickly. I was able to kill him uh, without losing any party members permanently, so that was nice. Alright, please. Ah, so close. Oh, we got a new bad guy. These things are dangerous. Double hands. They can double attack, which makes them kind of lethal. You want them to die quickly. They have good HP. Wish you would have done the other one, but okay. Please die in the first round. Oh, thank you. Woo! Uh, generally, from what I've seen so far, coming through this dungeon three or four times, you only fight one of those. So like it might be always in this room. Could be wrong. Alright. Come around. Almost made it. Guess that was two pharaohs and they didn't get an attack off. I'll take that all day, every day. Alright, so we're gonna come here and we're gonna go up. This is gonna help us a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and let's see. Make sure everybody's set the way they should be. Good. 
<laughs> Oops. That's why you double check. Charlie, what are you doing? Alright, we're good to go. Huh. Had the wrong armor on, ain't that funny? There's nothing in here, so just run to the door. And now we see sunlight. Yay! Can I get to the treasure chest before we fight? Can we get to the treasure chest before we fight? Alright, got another phoenix down. Oh wow, we didn't even get to fight. Okay, so let's see. There should be a treasure here. Elixir. And then you're gonna pass that. Well, maybe not. Well, it was two more um, barrows. They only got one off attack off, but the one attack knocked out one character. Yay. So another Phoenix now we're going to go ahead and have to use. <sighs> but we have eight now, so there's that. Um, what are we going to use? High potions. I shouldn't have done that yet. Ow. But we're almost to the boss. We're going to grab this. Roombow, I don't think that really helps anyone in this place, but that's nice. But anyway, we're going to move forward. I'm really close to the boss. Okay, we're back. That was a uh, lemur and a feral. Charlie? I love you, buddy. But off. Off? Off. Good boy. I shouldn't have to say it more than once, but hey, he's a butt. He's not, he's about seven months now, actually. Alright. <laughs> Everyone gets full life. Alright. So. This boss can be difficult. <clears throat> he can change what he's weak to. Um, he, I think he initially starts weak to lightning. Um, it doesn't say how much HP he has, which I don't really know why most of the guide here goes that. Except for this one. But, we're ready. Let's beat him up. I like the way he looks. Ha! Huh. The power of darkness is a thing of beauty, a black tapestry of chaos. Tapestry on which I shall paint an all-encompassing nocturne. With this fortress, Argus soldiers, and the power of darkness, I will rule the world. Time to die. All right. So, what I do, I'm hitting him with magic. Alright. Get him two of those. Get him with terrain. And hit him with the, that one. Let's go. Oh, that didn't do nothing. Okay, so we're gonna do differently. And with that one, let me back up. Hold on. He doesn't hit that hard. That's the one thing about him. He does have decent magic. And he does hit hurt a little bit, but he doesn't hit a lot. So there is that. Um, terrain will hit him. We'll beat him up pretty good. 
Cinema Blizzard. Oh, that seemed to hit him pretty good. So his weakness right now must be fire. Down. Please don't do this out of order, I would be very angry. Okay, that was a little annoying. But we like we're doing all right. All right, we got him. Yeah. All right. I feel like the last boss was a little bit easier than this one. <laughs> Whoa, an earthquake! Oh. Thank you, warriors of light. The walls. They speak. I am the elder tree of the living woods. I and had put a curse on me to do his bidding. But you have freed me from his bonds. Thank you again, warriors of the light. I will now free the people held captive within me and return them where they belong. Then I will go back to the living woods once again. Thank you! Thank you! Now it's time to return. I am back where I belong. Thank you for your help, young ones. Here, take this. Use it when the power of darkness stands in your way. You're saving. You saved the living woods. Thank you. Tain the fang of wood. Come on, let me go. I will now sleep until the wounds that Hine inflicted upon me heal themselves. For a thousand years I shall sleep, and none shall be able to enter these woods until I awaken. 
Young one, it is no coincidence that this floating continent was born a thousand years ago, when the darkness engulfed the world. And that you have been chosen to become the warriors of the light a thousand years later. Young ones, you must leave this floating continent and go to the world of darkness, the surface world. The surface world? I didn't know that was the thing. Neither did I. You must make haste. If you do not go now, it may be a thousand years until you may be able to go again. I put extra words in there, but it makes sense. Goodbye, goodbye, and good luck. Okay, so I think that's a pretty good place um, to stop. Um, I will see you later uh, when we start making our venture to the uh, non-floating world. So adios amigos, until next time.